Rolling on, get out, get happy. Ah. Welcome, welcome back, I'm so happy to have you. Today I got a special guest with me, this is Manny, and this video is gonna be all about how to overcome feeling like you are unworthy, feeling like you don't deserve the quality of life that you so want. And I know this more than anybody else because this was my biggest struggle of all time. Story time. I went the majority of my life feeling like I was non-deserving of having an incredibly high quality of life and living life on my terms and not somebody else's. And it wasn't until much later in life that I was at a conference. And this conference was all about building up self-love, building up self-worth that I was able to have a breakthrough that I needed so badly and I wanna share it with you. So let me paint a picture for you. I'm in this conference room with 87 people and the scenario is the ship is sinking and one by one we have to go up in front of the group and explain to everybody why we deserve to live. Now there can only be nine survivors on the boat everybody else has to die. And so one by one, people would go up and state their case about why they should survive. Some would say, because I haven't experienced everything I want in life. Some would say, because I have children and a business. And then I got up there and shared my vision of helping 100 million people lead a more meaningful, healthy-minded, and physically fit lifestyle. Now the next part of this, we got in a big circle side by side and they dimmed the lights and put on some really dramatic music. They brought in a lot of extra people and there was a lot of screaming and shouting and they were trying to make it seem as if the boat was sinking. We were given nine popsicle sticks and one by one we went around this big circle and gave the nine sticks to the people that we thought deserved to live. At the end of the exercise which seemed to be like forever but it was really probably only 30 minutes we were told to count the number of sticks in our hand. Now remember there's 87 people in this room and after going through my sticks and counting all the ones that I had I realized that <laughs> I realized that I didn't even have half of the votes. I didn't even have half of the sticks like they're there is no way that I'm gonna be, you know, one of the nine people to, to make it. And one by one, we went around the room and shouted out loud how many sticks or how many votes that we had. I was the last person to go. Even though I didn't have half of the votes, I had more sticks than anybody else in the entire room. And it was such a powerful moment for me because like, up until that point, my entire life, My entire life, I've counted myself out up until that point. I've told myself before even knowing the results that I'm non-deserving of what I want. I'm not deserving of a happy and successful and vibrant lifestyle. Like that's not for me, that's for, that's for somebody else. And it was in that moment that I decided that no longer was I was going to be burdened by feeling like I was unworthy because I had allowed myself to be controlled by circumstance, by my dad leaving or by, by whatever trauma that may come up in your life. I was no longer going to be held back by it. And from that moment on, I've never felt unworthy again. And since then, I've gone after every single goal that I've put onto my plate. And so I wanna share with you three huge ways that you can use to start overcoming your feelings of unworthiness. Number one is the acknowledgement and the origin of where these feelings first started to come about. Acknowledging that I have this issue, that I'm struggling with these feelings. And the second part of it is the origin. Where did these first come up for me. When did I first start feeling like this? Number two is have a personal mantra. And so I want you to choose three words, three powerful words that represent who you want to be. Even if you're not feeling it in this moment, choose three words. And then anytime that mental hijinks happens where you start feeling less than, I want you to literally recite this mantra out loud. And I want you to keep saying it over and over and over until those feelings are gone. So once you've acknowledged and figured out where these feelings first came about and you've created your personal mantra, number three is what is my vision? Go back to exactly what we talked about the first week and recalibrate. And maybe you feel like this too. And in fact, I think the majority of people who are in your situation, who are feeling unhappy, who are feeling unfulfilled, struggle with feeling like they deserve to be all of this. But the truth is that you and I both were meant to, we were created to leave an incredible legacy. To have an unbelievably high quality lifestyle filled with happiness, joy, and abundance. And I guarantee you, I promise you, that once you discover your worth, 
you will stop giving yourself and everybody else discounts. Again, guys, I love you so much. I'm fired up because this is something that I've struggled with for so long and I know how powerful of a hold that it has. But you are worthy of everything that you want.